my eldest daughter had rotavirus when she was nine months of age. And it was actually before I was involved in research. I was actually a, a clinician then. But I think it really did, did shape my interest in, in rotavirus. And it was really scary just to see the deterioration that happened happened in a matter of hours. And so I was able to, you know, take her to a nearby hospital that evening. She had access, the hospital was kind of was 15 minutes away and she could get an, you know, an IV line and rehydration fluid and was looking so much better the next morning. But I think it really always just drives home the fact that, uh, you know, in places where, you know, access to, to a hospital may not be you know, close if there may be, you know, parents who, if it's night time, aren't able to, to get transport to even go to the hospital. Clinics may be closed and it may be several hours to get to the hospital. I think really in those situations, you can see how baby can really deteriorate over a couple of hours and actually end up dying where, you know, if, if that could have been prevented. And I think if we can prevent those episodes from happening in the first place, I think that's really the, the public health impact we would like to see.